Cohen Shears presents Walt Disney. Hello, I'm Cohen, and I'm going to be your tour guide through Walt Disney's life. Walter Elias Disney was born on December 5, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. His family soon moved to Kansas City, where Walt started taking art lessons paid for with his own money. In Kansas City, Walt Disney met his friend and business partner, Ube Iwerks, who shortened his name to UB. UB and Walt joined up and created Disney Iwerks Animation Company. One of their first most popular products was Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. You might say he looks a lot like Mickey Mouse. Well, here he is, the first Mickey Mouse cartoon, Steamboat Willie. Steamboat Willie was the first animation to synchronize sound and motion. It was a very successful animation, so they moved to Los Angeles, California. There, Disney Iwerks Corporation made this Oscar-winning cartoon movie called Silly Symphony, Flowers and Trees. It was the first cartoon ever in full color. Here's a picture of Walt, Lily, and Mickey Mouse around the time they had their first daughter, Diane, in 1933. They adopted their second daughter, Sharon, in 1937, the same year that Disney released the world's first feature-length animated film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The cool thing is, he won one big Oscar and seven little ones for it. Walt Disney is also famous for his great films like <laughs> Bambi, Mary Poppins, Pinocchio, and 101 Dalmatians. In our time, Disney Animation Studios is known for movies like Shrek and The Incredibles. So as you can see, Walt Disney was a very prolific film producer. But that's not all he was famous for. Maybe you've heard of a little place called Disneyland. That's Sleeping Beauty's castle. And here's Cinderella's castle in the not-so-little Disney world. Pretty big, huh? Well, folks, before I let you go, let me tell you one last thing about Walt Disney. Walt died of lung cancer on December 15th, 1966, 10 days after his 65th birthday. Some people say that Walt Disney was cryogenically frozen, but this is a myth. The truth is that Walt was cremated and his grave is in Glendale, California. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story about the amazing Walt Disney. I will leave you with this animation that I made. Goodbye.